This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. All right. Welcome everyone to the Board of Public Works hearing for March 15th, 2023. I'd like to uh, get a motion to open the meeting. Second. Tom Smallsberry? Uh, yes. David Fagnan? Yes. Steve Litman? Yes. All in favor, motion carries. All right, we have a pretty concise little agenda today. Uh, we don't appear to have any members of the public joining us. Uh, we're not expecting the mayor this evening? No. All right, we'll move right on to item number three, approval of the February 15th, 2020 regular uh, BPW meeting minutes. Did everybody get to review what Michelle prepared? Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you. you. There are no issues. I'll make a motion to approve the February 15th uh, meeting minutes. I second. Okay. Thomas Salisbury? Yes. Dave Bagman? Yes. Dave Yes. All in favor, motion carries. Right. Item number four is approval of the February 15th, 2023 uh, public hearing meeting minutes where we uh, approve the water and sewer rate setting. Uh, any issues with that? I verify that the rates reflect what we yeah. uh, agreed to and voted on. So if there's no issues with them, I'll make a motion to record them. No um, issues. I second. All right. Thomas Mulsberry? Yes. Dave Bagman? Yes. Dave Whitman? Yes. All in favor of motion carried. Did everybody get a chance to sign? Not yet. Nope, they're yeah. sitting right here for me yeah. to start. <laughs> All right, and while I do that, I'll move on to uh, item number five, the director's report. Okay. I um, just want to keep updating you guys on uh, construction schedules. Uh, Union Street, I'll start with Union Street. I think we're going to see some, um, more over the next few weeks just some Eversource Charter Verizon uh, utility work. And it doesn't look like we're going to see any major construction until closer to June when the water main construction is going to tentatively scheduled to take off. So any of the scheduling I mentioned in my report here tonight is, is tentative. So mm -hmm. it's, of course it's all subject to weather and uh, all the different delays that uh, seem to keep showing up so, everywhere. But, um, so that's basically the story for Union Street as of, as of right now. Try to try to keep you updated as more information comes in. But just Thank you. Work. Yeah. Um, Cherry Street, we do have a little more uh, Firm schedule there. Um, Reyes is expected to schedule to start mobilizing equipment tomorrow and Friday to really return completely to work on Monday with two crews. Um, they'll be working on utility work throughout the length of the street. Uh, and the anticipated completion date for that project is now mid October 2023. So, uh, when we signed the contract with Reyes, we had hoped for the project to be finished around July 15th. So we're looking at like a three month delay given the situation that's gone on since. Uh, we signed that contract just between supply chain and all the other uh, issues and troubles we've had with, with the site and just how narrow it is and uh, just the amount of, of work we're doing out there. I don't think a three-month delay is really is too, too bad. I would like to see it not happen, but I'll take it. You know? As long as it's all within that construction season, it should be. Yeah, I think, and I think it will be. I mean, do I think it could go to the end of October? Sure. Could it maybe be the first week of October? Maybe, but um, I think it's... Uh, it's reasonable. Um, we did receive a tentative schedule also from uh, JL Construction today for the Hoyoke Street Chapter 90 project. Uh, and part of that project, we carried uh, reclaiming, grading, and paving True Heart Drive and uh, Wamelco Way. And they are going to start with that portion of the work on True Heart. Uh, their tentative, tentative start date is uh, May 8th uh, this year. So. They expect to be substantially complete over there by June 15th, with work starting on Oak Street immediately after. Um, we have worked an area out at the Maple Street School for them to set up a staging area for the Oak Street work. And uh, tentatively, they're scheduled to have all the paving work done, the pedestrian safety improvements at East Green and Allen by September 25th. So um, I have asked them to they could start a little bit earlier, if, if possible, on uh, the True Heart Lomelco portion. But once we sign a contract, there's not a whole lot we can do to get the contract. If they have to date the contract, this you know, contract completion date. And once we uh, once we sign it, there's not a whole lot we can do to get it moving faster. So but we'll try. Um, 
So as far as the storm yesterday went, well, we just cruise in Monday night, worked through till uh, yesterday evening, just keeping the roads passable and trying to stay out in front of the heavy uh, snow accumulation. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lot of trouble with uh, wires and trees being down. While we're, while we're in a recorded public meeting, anyone that watches, if you can, when you see cones in the road or barricades, don't drive around them. They're there for a reason. Um, it can be very dangerous. There was primary wires down that people were driving dangerously close to yesterday. Uh, it, a, a number of different issues, low hanging wires that were hard for drivers to see. Uh, I'd heard reports of you know tractor trailer units taking off, the communication wires, power lines. It was uh, just a day like yesterday is a great day to just stay off the road if you can. So it was, uh, the less cars on the road, the faster we can do our jobs, the faster Eversource can get out there. Um, you know, we got Spectrum Charter did come in and help us, you know, as soon as they could free someone up, and Eversource was really great with getting getting out to give us a hand. Um, but really the trees down and the wires really uh, delayed. You know, we would have had that city cleaned up a lot quicker if the snow wasn't. We didn't have so much utility damage, so. Uh, we are still dealing with a, a failed transformer at the Nonatuck Well, which has knocked out the power to the Nantuck and Brook Street wells on the water side. We had a telephone pole break off on Gosselin Drive that took out the power to the wastewater treatment plant. That ran on generator power for from about 3 a.m. Uh, yesterday morning till about 2.30 this afternoon. So, um, we're still on generator power. As far as I know, I haven't heard, got any recent updates on uh, our pump state, East Street South pump station. It's still on generator power. But uh, right now we're just operating the water system, just using the facility on Hendrick Street and neither of the wells. So keep the city supplied. Eversource is, they tried to come out today but ran out of transformers, so they're coming back tomorrow. So. Did I see a crane at the uh, Hendrick Street? Was there a crane there? Uh, we, so that's the different work, not emergency work. That's just okay. uh, some low head pump station rehab work that we've been, we've been working on. They pull one pump, take it, rebuild it, bring back the other one. Uh, that was funding we appropriated last year. So it's been kind of slow going, but we're getting, we're getting so. But really got to hand it to the highway department guys that just did an excellent job. Everybody did, went above and beyond the last 24 hours to do things that they did things they don't normally do to keep things moving. We had to, um, you know, we're trying to plow and then getting called for trees down and barricades and trees move off the road. And we were, guys were getting out of plow trucks and into loaders and taking plows off loaders and putting buckets back on them. It was a hmm. um, pretty crazy 24 hours for, you know, 30 hours for a guy. So they really did a great job, really did. Um, basically all I have on the storm um, I just you know, do want to tell everyone and the board and whoever watches the meeting that it's going to be a very busy construction season in East Hampton this year um, with the project starting on uh, Union Street you know Payson Avenue Holyoke Street Cherry Street with True Hard Drive with Melco Way um, all of these projects will be underway at give different time um, at various stages of completion but underway at the same time so I uh, just want to ask the public to just bear with us um, we're gonna you know, do the best we can to you know, limit the inconvenience and, and the delays to, to getting around the city. But um, you know, we're really excited about getting all this work going. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be nice when we're on the other side of it. So hoping in the fall we'll have uh, several smoother streets and a lot of work, uh, a lot of work off the list. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically it. And I do, uh, for my report, that's basically it. But we do need to talk about the schedule of our uh, April 23 meeting. First week of April is the New England Water Works Association Conference in Worcester. Mm -hmm. It's on Wednesday, Thursday, so I'll be at that. It's either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, but that Wednesday, I, I'm gonna need to be out there. Wednesday, it's Wednesday, Thursday, so yeah. Um, so that's the first, and then the, I won't be available the weekend, the week of the 15th, which I think we would've met on the 19th. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about possibly meeting, I think it's the 12th. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, so that's now the second. I don't see it as an issue. Just, just have a meeting the second week of April. Yeah, just our, if that's mm -hmm. a, if that works for you. Guys. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if there's no pressing issues for the board, I'm fine with just doing a single meeting like we were doing for March. So. Okay. So uh, we mean we can we'll plan to meet the 12th, and then if we need to have a meeting on the uh, 26th. Yeah, we could. We could schedule yeah, that. Yeah. If not. And hopefully we can meet the 12th and then go back to our, you know, the first Wednesday, first and third, yeah. come, come May, if that works for you guys. Then what conflict I see is my other meeting, which might occur on the 26th at 6th. Right. I mean, we may not have to meet, yeah. and I don't... Yeah, and if so, it's going to be for a single topic, probably. So. Yeah, or we meet, we meet the first week of May, we put a 
the 26th or yeah. May 3rd or 2nd, would yeah. not a huge delay. So. We'll work out something. Yeah, I think for now we'll just plan to have an April 12th meeting, okay. and then we'll, we'll see what's on the future agenda. If we feel we need to have a second one in April, or we'll just have it very early May at the first. I'm fine with that. Same here. All right. There's no other discussion on anything we've uh, got on the agenda this evening. I will uh, make a motion to close this evening's meeting. Second. I was small spare? Aye, yes. 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 All in favor, motion. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.